No, I'm okay. All right. Uh, hello and good evening, everybody. Let me see why my PowerPoint isn't coming up. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to our webinar tonight. How is everyone doing? Can you hear me and can you see me? Uh, let me just try to find up. Oh, there it is. There is there's the screen. Not sure why, why it wasn't appearing earlier. Uh, let me just fix that. If you can hear me and see me, please say hi in the comments down below please say good evening and let me know where you're watching from i'm over here streaming from cebu city as usual and today we have our monthly webinar for new members we're talking about how to start a work from home career and how to get started as a freelancer yes hello um we have people here hello grace hello rack hello irene thank you for joining us this evening refresh this here um and if you just a reminder if you would like how oh well i want to ask you a question how would you like a free gift does anyone here want a free gift because we're giving away some things for free tonight so which of you guys would like a free gift free gift dito and if you would like a free gift let me t tell you how you can get it um well here are your free gifts first of all yeah you can get the five must have tools to start working from home and also a guide um, which is the three most common mistakes newbies make on cover letters uh, all you have to do is um share your share this webinar um first of all share this webinar and then comment share and i'm going to give you more instructions later but first of all I'm, what i want you to do is share this webinar and comment in the comment section shared all right uh, let me just greet everybody here a good evening um irene alma cherry rachel mia good evening lily um marites from albay i thank you for tagging somebody mia uh jaime good evening jacqueline hello jerjeline from bataan jazil vivian from dabao uh, hello um jewel from lapu lapu nice Dora, uh, Irene, uh, thank you. Jegs, good evening. Uh, Elaine, Mary, Jacqueline from Bourbon, Cebu, hello. Uh, John from Japan, nice. OFW, but Japan, I think. You guys are doing good in Japan right now, diba. Uh, Ivan uh, from Baguio, yes, and people want their free gifts. I, there, thank you, thank you guys for sharing this. And I'm, I'm going to give you more instructions, but yes, tonight we're going to talk about how to start a work from home career. So um, also, if you know anybody who would benefit from this, maybe you'd like to tag them as well and share this with them. Let them know that, you know, they can start a work from home career as well. If you're somebody who's a freelancer, you'd want to share this with them, especially in Deba. A lot of people are losing their jobs, um, but those of us that work from home, especially as online freelancers, we're doing we're, we're still able to earn so we're very thankful they're very grateful for what we have and yeah let's share it with others as well so and you get these free gifts all right um so first of all to, uh, i'm gonna jump right into tonight's discussion uh we have we have a lot of people george jenlin parang iba yung voice nyo po or baka sa akin lang uh bakit ano yung mahara is there something wrong with the voice baka yung mic ko uh, Jeanette Ristin, good evening, good evening. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in tonight. I might have to change yung settings on mic, pero yeah, we can't change it right now. So hopefully, okay lang, maintindihan nyo naman, di ba? Uh, Jerome, good good evening. Uh, Rack, para ng robot. Uy, ano? Teka lang, ha? Ano, ano? Uh, huh. Wait lang. Let me check my ano, check my I might change yung microphone. Mahalo bat na yung. Okay. Uh, how is this microphone? Okay ba? Hello, this one. Okay na ba? Uh, checking with 
everyone here. Okay. Hopefully this is better. Um, and let me know. Parang babae yung bosses niyo. Medyo talaga malit yung voice. Okay na. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, something is wrong with my microphone. Pero buti naman. Um, I have another one here set up. So okay. Thank you guys. And hello. Hello. All right. <laughs> Good to hear. Good to hear. It's all. It's all better now. All right. So. Yes, I would say uh, if you well, if you like, if you want to claim a free gift, of course share this and um, let me know that we shared it. Open medyo if I'm in. Okay, na po. All right, good to hear. So um, just just a quick introduction about Flip. Um, we are the freelancers in the Philippines Facebook group, and maybe you might be asking, what is Flip? So we are um, well, yeah, we are a Facebook group wherein what we do is we help other people learn about freelancing online. So we educate and mentor and guide people into this online world. It's on work from home, uh, on virtual assistant. You might have heard these terms before, virtual assistant, work from home, online freelancing, yung mga ganun. Um, that's, what we, that's what we help other people achieve and guide other people to do, to be successful in this world where you know, we work from home, we're able to earn from home. As it says right there, uh, learn how to work from home. Start here over at freevacourse.com. So if you haven't gone over to freevacourse.com, I highly recommend that you go there. Um, just to start things off, we have a few simple rules in our Freelancers in the Philippines Facebook group. So first of all, no self-promotion. So um, we don't allow you to sell any products or services. We have our own courses in the VA Bootcamp which, which guide people into this online freelancing world, this work from home world. But we don't, um, other people, they want to sell yung mga other products nila, yung mga uh, products and services. So, no self-promotion is allowed. Second of all, no trolling. So, anong ibig sabihin ng trolling? Trolling is parang when you start a fight with other people, you know, start, uh, start, um, yeah, mga, mga online uh, away, diba? We see that a lot nowadays and we want to avoid that in our Facebook group. We want to promote positivity and um, yun, mga good vibes. Lang. So, no trolling allowed. And once you start insult, we've banned people, especially once they start insulting people, diba? Minsan, um, yung mga, yung mga insults. So, we ban people who do things like that. And lastly, be open. Be open to um, learning new things, be open to the possibilities that we, we're talking about, freelancing and working from home, and be open to sharing your opinions as well. So it's a very open and friendly group that we have over in FLIP, uh, short for Freelancers in the Philippines. Okay, so you might be wondering this. So I want to ask you right now, um, of those who are watching tonight, um, how many of you are existing freelancers? You know, existing freelancers dito or newbie ba kayo? Um, when it comes to the world of freelancing, do you know anything about the world of freelancing or um, nothing? So, say I'm a newbie. Newbie meaning wala kayong, you know, you don't really know a lot. Or experienced, baka experienced freelancer na kayo. Let me know in the comments down below. Mga newbies. Ayan, mga. Magung mga newbies. Okay. Um, nawawala ba? I think it should be okay now. Uh, Looking at the stats here, parang okay naman. And we have, oh yan, ba, ang dami natin newbie. Oh, in my fourth month, great to hear, Jana. And we have mga freelancers, si Gladys, si Jana, uh, dami natin newbies, Marianne Lizelle, si, Ma, uh, si Elaine, si Marites, existing newbie, of course. Jobel, um, newbie, si Mia, newbie. Share, mga newbies sa freelancing, and daming mga willing to learn. Of course, um, for you to succeed in this world of online freelancing, itong working from home, you have to be willing to learn. You have to be open minded when it comes to learning new things and learning new skills. Narben, thank you, graduates, uh, fresh grads of VA Bootcamp, um, Sibila with VA skills na. All right, thank you, thank you. Dami mga newbies tonight. So, you might be wondering, what is a freelancer or um, yung iba natin mga VA virtual assistant or work from home. So I'm here to answer your question. So when, when it comes to freelancing, diba? a freelancer is somebody who does freelancing. So um, a freelancing, freelancing refers to being self-employed. Okay, So you do some work and then you get paid for the work that you do. Okay, So simple, diba? you get work and you get paid for it. You can get paid by the hour. You can also get paid by projects. 
Okay, so some examples. Okay, so freelancers, self-employed. What we mean by self-employed is wala ka yung employer. You don't have a specific employer or you know, company that you're reporting to. So some examples of mga freelancers now we're more familiar with. Mga makeup artists. Makeup artists, a lot of makeup artists are freelancers. So they don't work for a specific company. For example, if you have a wedding um, or like a, a nice party, you call a makeup artist and you you know you have the, the mga bridesmaids and, and mga those 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 people they have their their makeup done, niba. Right? So you call that makeup artist. The make you are not the employer of the makeup artist, right? You're not the employer, but you are what we call a client or a customer of the makeup artist. The makeup artist mismo they're self-employed. Baka may employees din sila, may mga alalay sila, uh, but they themselves are self-employed. Yung mga um, other na manghihilot din, they are self-employed. Um, so, they don't report to a, well, some, diba? some have a company that they work for, but others, they don't report to a specific company. Um, Army, massage therapist, thank you. Are you are you also a self-employed massage therapist? Yung uh, um, independent, diba? mga independent massage therapists, they don't work for like uh, Nuatai or Taiboran or something like that, but they 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 you know, mga home service they they work directly with the customers or work directly with their clients. And these are some examples of mga freelancers, you know, mga makeup artists and mga hilot and other professions. These are offline the freelancers. We're talking about online freelancers. But of course, we're not teaching you how to become a makeup artist or um, a massage therapist. That's not what we're doing. We're teaching mga online freelancing or you can't do this online. Um, so these kind, th this is just an example because these people get paid to do services directly by a client or by a customer and they, you know, they, they are not employed by a company. So if we translate doing this online, right? it's doing services doing services directly for clients over the internet and that's when the term online freelancers come in like army diba she is a um, independent massage therapist on call lang diba and um, what are some examples what are some other examples do you think of mga offline freelancers mga freelance um, you know mga mga jobs that we're more familiar with aside from makeup artists and massage therapists what are some examples of offline freelancers while you're answering that, let's move on. Uh, well, with online freelancers, we have mga virtual assistants, we have mga graphic designers, we have mga blog writers, and a lot more. Okay, so uh, moving on to the next question. Why should you work as a freelancer? Why should you work in the first place as a freelancer? So, um, money. Okay, the number one reason why people start working as freelancers is money. Um, so, just to give you some idea, mga newbies who start off in freelancing, they can usually earn around 20,000 pesos a month. After a few months, they can earn mga, you know, mga 20,000 pesos a month. Diba? And that's not a lot of money, diba? Um, that's okay. Yeah? Pero newbies pa lang to, meaning wala masyadong experience. They don't have years of experience, maybe like one or two months. And they can earn 20,000 pesos a month. After around a year, okay, after around a year, let's say somebody is consistent, it's a freelancing, they're either continuing their career, um, they can earn 50 or 100,000 pesos a month. This is something that's very possible and we see with a lot of our graduates of VA Bootcamp that they're earning this much. Yung iba after like three or six months pa lang, they're already earning 100,000. Pero more realistically, after a year, it's not that hard to earn 100,000 pesos a month. Time freedom. The next reason why people like working as freelancers is time freedom. So what do we mean by this? Most of the time, you know, when when you work, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you get the job done. So, for example, you're you're a client, a company that pays you money to create reports in Excel, in Microsoft Excel, or create presentations in PowerPoint, and they have a deadline. Deadline is by Friday, right? So. When you're going to do the work, as long as you submit it by Friday, and that's what's most important for the client. So you can work, you can work your schedule around other important things you have in life. For example, if you've got kids, diba? maybe during the day, um, eh, homeschooling that that's um, the big thing nowadays. A lot of parents are going into homeschooling, so maybe during the day you're homeschooling your kids, 
and then when they're resting at night that's when you'll work on creating the PowerPoint slides for your for your client diba? Um, so that time freedom is something that we have with freelancers if, if, if you want to hang out with your friends in the morning um, yes yesterday yeah yesterday I went to um, I had my hair hair done diba? and I was able to do my work before that yesterday afternoon so um, I was able to do my work before that and after that because of that time freedom um, you do the work when you, you schedule it in diba? as long as you get the job done okay the third reason is location freedom so what do we mean by location freedom you can work anywhere in the world as long as you have a computer and as long as you have internet okay so you can go to Boracay they have strong internet there uh, well not now we can't travel right now of course um, but hopefully so early next year um, barring this year Malabo that we can travel but hopefully early next year you know we can start traveling um, you can go to wherever you can go to Boracay, they have good internet in Boracay. In El Nido, they don't really have good internet, so um, not really recommended. For, for example, you go to Boracay, you're at the beach, um, and then you go back to like an Airbnb or a hotel that has strong internet, and you do your work there. Ako, I've traveled around the world um, being able to do work online. I've been to like Singapore, I've been to Japan, I've been to Europe and the US. Uh, traveling around the world, I was able still to do my work. Um, and still able to go on vacation then at the same time you know, like Rack is saying di like digital nomad I lived the digital nomad life for a few years yung palipat you, know, you see mga YouTubers who just travel a lot of them what they do is they work online either as freelancers or they have their own online business so if that's something you're interested in then this could be a strong reason for you know strong benefit for you as to work as a freelancer next no traffic okay and this is especially for those who are in Metro Manila this is something that's that's very compelling you don't waste time and you don't waste energy spending hours traveling every day um, and, and since we're here I want to ask you how many hours do you travel and how many hours are you stuck in traffic every day especially for those who once again are in Metro Manila here in Cebu before I travel mga 30 to 45 minutes one way so like one and a half hours uh, back and forth I know that's nothing compared to some people uh, but it's still traffic din. Um, so how about you guys how how long do you spend in traffic how many hours do you spend back and forth in two way let's say two ways how much how many hours do you spend in traffic and this is a big reason once again why, why a lot of people start working online because those hours like cherry two to three hours she spends in traffic that's a lot of time that's time you can spend with your family with your loved ones with your kids or a time you could spend making you know making more money if that's what you want or time you could spend reading books or watching movies yeah, but that's a lot of time that we're wasting in the Philippines we waste a lot of time um, in traffic like Jana four hours diba? that's four hours of traffic um, Vivian one hour okay that's nice diba? okay that one hour compared to like four hours of traffic that you could be doing you could be sleeping for those four hours diba? so yeah it's, it's a big reason for a lot of people next is career fulfillment um, in well with with freelancing with online freelancing you can focus on any skill that you'd like to focus on and enjoy doing your work your career growth and your earnings are up to you okay so there are a lot of areas that you can focus on um, I started out as a virtual assistant I started out doing things in Microsoft Excel doing things in QuickBooks um, and eventually I wanted to learn how to create websites so I learned how to create websites I learned how to do things like Facebook ads and search engine optimization and and email writing and these are things I learned along the way it's similar for you you can start and like in, in the VA bootcamp we teach people to start out as virtual assistants um, but you can choose you can say okay I want to learn how to, if I, I'm inclined to doing graphic design and maybe you at home you draw a lot and you know how you know, principles of design you can become a graphic designer you can become an animator you become you can become um, <clears throat> like an uh, illustrator uh, if you like writing you can become a blog writer you can become a book ghost writer you can become a copywriter there are so many areas you can go into for your own fulfillment unlike uh, before I was in the call center and there really isn't any other areas that you can go into the if call center call center ka lang. you become you become a team leader you become a trainer you become like a unit manager a shift manager but it's all within the same 
Diba? It's all within the same line. And most people, they get stuck in the, stuck taking in calls for five, eight years. Diba? So there's no career fulfillment. But this is something that in online freelancing that you have the opportunity to experience. Okay, now that we have these five reasons, five reasons why you want to work as a freelancer, what I wanted you to do is choose which one is your, I know, your, 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 parang your favorite reason or the number one reason or maybe tied one and two reason why you would choose to go into online freelancing. And let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, let me look at the comments here. Mm. Uh, your online seller is more of parang online business, Jobel. Hindi siya freelancing, but it, it's like your only own business. But if you're a lot of the times, if you if you manage stock, then you're stuck. Diba? If you get if you have stocks at home, um, you you don't have the location freedom. Your time free time freedom hindi in Masharo because you you have to deliver the products, diba? Um, and the money, well, the money you can grow uh, depending if you, if you grow the business. Then a musician, yeah, that, that's an offline freelancer. Photographers, very good example. Um, event hosts, yes, those can be online freelancers. Freelance to freedom, sabi ni Iraq, yes. Fitness instructors, diba? there are a lot of parang, independent fitness instructors. Uh, sports instructors, nice. You set your own schedule. Um, Sabila, two to three hours. Share, two, six hours travel time. Grabe talaga, no? Um, Beth, two hours. Aloy, one hour. Uh, Jeanette, one hour. Swear to you, compared to the others. Like Irene, six hours between Ortigas and Cavite. Uh, that's, that's crazy. Um, Pia, Pia, bedo, four hours back and forth. Walang traffic dito, pero mag-abang ng, ng sasakyan, almost two hours. Oh, ngayon, di ba? Like, um, public transportation is also very limited. So you wait, you have to wait hours pa rin. So on top of like the four hours or six hours of travel, you know, you have to wait for, you know, almost two hours for, for the transportation to come. Prep 7 p.m., grabe, oh. 7 p.m., but shift starts at 11 p.m. So you have to prepare four hours before. Um, sabi ni Jana, my, my niche, meaning yung specialization niya, yung work niya as a freelancer, is shirt designing. And nakaka enjoy kasi ito talaga gusto ko. Nice. That's perfect, diba? And this is provides the career fulfillment that we're talking about, right? Um, sabi ni Jersey, time consuming talaga pag may office kang pinapasukan. Gigising ng maaga, liligo ka pa, traffic pa. Pag online freelancing, kahit na may muta ka pa at walang ligo, pwede na. Uh, pero, kahit ganun, uh, you should still take a bath, Jersey. Yeah? Just reminder lang ha. Baka makalimutan yun. Um, push mo yan, sabi ni ano. Um, Ivan, time freedom, extra money. Uh, time freedom. Uh, Mary likes to write, diba? Uh, time, money and time freedom. Location, money, time freedom, location freedom. No traffic. Diba? Yung stress ng traffic, it's very bad. Time freedom, time and location freedom. Um, Mariana, like to facilitate discussion. Diba? That there's, there are career paths for you in online freelancing. Um, Bernie, time freedom and money. No traffic. Um, time freedom, money, convenience, money. Time freedom, uh, money, time, location freedom, and more time with family, diba? Mon uh, money para matulungan ko si hubby. You know? Oh, that's that's a good, that's a good reason. Uh, do I see information, education, and communication? Oh, that that's there. There are mga mga um mga online learning platforms right now, and you can even help mga online coaches um, with them. Time freedom, um, time and money. A lot of time and money, diba? That's the most common reason. Sabi ni Sibila, I want to be with my kids ko po while working from home. And of course, makaiwas na sa virus. Yes, exactly. Traffic at mahal pa masahe. Um, all of the above. Uh, George, I just started as a VA last Monday and got my first salary yesterday before I ended my shift. Oh, congratulations, George. Um, you got uh, you got your first job. That, that's, a, that's a very big step in the online freelancing world. Wilma, no traffic. Uh, Beth, money, time freedom. Um, paano pag di mo alam saan ka mag start and that's what we're here that's what we're Salary talking about yesterday. today um, Brian how you can get started um, in the online freelancing world oh, so on as a corporate world alright all right. Um, so moving on to our next question can anyone be a freelancer so Brian I guess this is for you diba? paano pag di mo alam um, can anyone be a freelancer so uh, a lot of people say things like this. In the VA bootcamp, we get a lot of these questions, a lot of these concerns. Uh, di para sa akin yun. High school grad lang ako. That's what people say. Or di kasi ako magaling mag-English. 
or di kasi ako magaling sa computer. No? We hear this a lot. So these reasons here, they're, they're hesitations, these are fears, and reasons why people say na hindi ako pwede mag-freelancer because of these reasons. Well, I just want to let you know that the following don't matter. The following things don't matter when it comes to the world of online freelancing. Your age doesn't matter. If you're 18 years old or um, if you're 65, 70 years old, it doesn't matter as long as you can do the job. If, of course, a lot of um, seniors, baka they can't do the job. Um, if, if they have, uh, well, they still can, but they may have, to have difficulty if they have sight problems and so on, or mga sickness, but those who are, you know, who can still sit in front of a computer and do the work, it doesn't matter what age you are. Gender doesn't matter. Um, we received, like, I remember a few years ago, uh, one of the first emails I received is somebody who said na they're discriminated in office nila. They can't get promoted because they are homosexual. They're, they're gay. Um, so they feel oppressed um, because of that. And then it doesn't matter in the online freelancing world. Your, your earnings you know, won't be limited by your gender, whether you're male, you're female, um, whether you're gay or lesbian. It doesn't matter at all as long as you can do the job once again. Um, education. Your education doesn't matter. Of course, you want to be able to do the skills. But you don't need to be a college graduate to be able to, let's say, uh, do the tasks that your client needs you to do. If you're, if you're a graphic designer and you learned on your own, you learned on your own how to draw about the principles of design, then you don't need to go to college for it. You don't need a degree to be able to start freelancing. And, and in fact, we've seen mga freelancers, mga 18-year-old, 19-year-old online freelancers without graduating from college. Um, next, your background doesn't matter. Um, of course, if you have connections, if I, that might help you out. But even if you're poor, we, we've seen a lot of successful freelancers, yung mga graduates ng VA Bootcamp, who were, for example, factory workers or domestic helpers na OFWs, and they were still able to hit yung 50K, 100,000 pesos per month mark because the background didn't matter. What they did is they learned how to do the skills, they worked hard on it, and they delivered the, their, their work to their clients, the, the companies that were paying them. So it didn't matter. So the following things don't matter. Unlike a lot of parang um, in-person jobs, it doesn't matter. Um, let me look at, over the comments here. I'm just going to browse the comments. More time for family. You can have multiple clients. Yes. Um, Eliza, you can you can start anew. There's no, there's no problem. Uh, and you have a, you have uh, well you can refresh but you can refresh your skills if you want um, but there's no reason why you couldn't be able to do it uh, okay naman for most people matagal pa ako gusto maging VA pero I doubt myself kung kaya ko ba um, but what, what's the reason Agatha why do you doubt yourself alright uh, just checking here how can I find typing jobs online um, we'll get there as well yung iba nagloading pero I think it's Okay naman. Baka sa replay, okay yung sa inyo, uh, sa connection nyo, might be a problem. Okay, um, this question, what kind of work will I do as a freelancer? So a lot of people have this concern. But they say, you know what, it sounds nice, you know, it sounds very nice, I want to get the benefits, I want to earn more money, have time freedom, location freedom, and all that. But I don't know what kind of work I can do. I don't know what kind of online freelancing jobs I can perform. Um, so to answer this question, there are a lot of online jobs that you can do. Uh, I'm just going to give you a list over here. Um, sa una lang yan, pero nakapag-aral ka sa yan. Oh, oh. It takes time, everything. It, and what, what Ivan is saying, it takes time, but you can learn these skills. You can learn these skills. So for example, for data entry, what you usually do in one example of data entry is... Um, for example, somebody handwrites their notes. They, they, do their own, they, they take their own notes in their notebook with a with a pen not in a computer and then what they'll do is they'll take a picture or they'll scan it and then they're going to send it to you and your job will be to put it in for example microsoft word um that's one example of data entry is that something that you can do you think um next is transcription transcription one example is you're watching a youtube video you're listening to a youtube video and then you type the words that the the person is saying that the speaker is saying um, do you think that, so, that that's something you can do? Um, so yeah, you can answer yes or no. 
Um, next is email and calendar management. So managing email of potential clients, managing calendars, yung especially mga owners of small businesses na, you know, they have meetings, they um, and they don't want to conflict their, their meetings and so on. Um, next is office application. So um, working with Microsoft, um, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides. All right. Um, and then we've got internet research. A lot of clients, they want you to do research, for example, on products, on potential products, or mga competitors. So they'll say, um, well, just an example, they'll say, do research on Nike. I want to find out what their products are, what their pricing is, and your job will be to do that research and provide a document na summarizing the important points so that the the small business owner that you're working with, they'll be able to see, oh, ito pala yung pricing nila, and then they can come up with strategies for their own business. You have social media and website management. Uh, well, tayo mga Filipino, we have an advantage here because we are very good in Facebook. <laughs> we are very good in Instagram and Twitter. Uh, so, so when it comes to social media, that's something we have an advantage. In, and, and especially, for example, in the US, in Europe, in the UK, um, a lot of small business owners, they don't, number one, they don't have the time, they don't have the patience, they don't have the knowledge to really post on social media media and when they make posts para ang pangit di ba yung mga, mga pictures and so on so that's where we could come in help them create better posts help them create a strategy um, for posting on social media uh, website management updating the website um, updating the information updating pictures on websites e-commerce store management is another thing um, I think it was uh, Jobel mentioned na online seller, para online seller siya. And, and, e and that gives you an advantage to e-commerce store management because most of the time in e-commerce store management, what you're doing is you're managing the store of your potential of, of your client. So for example, they have a store on Amazon or on eBay or on their own website. And what you do is you make sure na um, yung orders gonna get fulfilled, you coordinate with the customers, answer mga complaints or mga inquiries, um, you do like inventory checks and, and you can coordinate with suppliers. Those are things that you can do in e-commerce store management. Uh, so who here, who, who here has experience? Sino ba mga online seller dito? Alam ko, alam ko naman, marami mga on, online seller ngayon, di ba? Um, Eliza, I'll give you some, some websites later on here in this presentation uh, where you can apply for jobs. All right. Um, all right. And all of these things, I'm just looking at the comments. All these things here, data entry, transcription, email, calendar management, office applications, internet research, social media, website management, e-commerce store management. We teach all of this in the VA bootcamp. Okay. All of these things are taught. If you enroll in the VA bootcamp, um, in the accelerated course, for example, we teach all of these things here. So um, if you want to learn these skills, then yeah, you can certainly enroll in the VA bootcamp. Now, there are some other areas as well that you can work as a freelancer. Search and, and these are the more complicated, more advanced areas. There's search engine optimization, uh, ranking on Google. There is web design, you're actually creating websites, hindi yung updating, but creating and designing websites. Um, Facebook and Google ads, we see those very popular nowadays, diba? Um, email copywriting, e writing yung mga sales emails, blog writing, doing graphic designing, doing illustration, doing programming, creating mga apps and mga programs, um, doing bookkeeping, oh, we teach, we also added this pala sa bootcamp, it should be on the left side na. Um, we just added this recently to the VA Bootcamp Accelerated, so bookkeeping is also included, and a lot more. So all of these are skills that I mean, you can you you can do. You All of this is the work that you can do as an online freelancer. All you have to do is learn the skills. Or baka there are skills that you already know. So in this list here, right now, what are the skills that you already know? I know that some of you already have skills. Uh, dami mga online sellers. Si Cherry, si Lynn, si um, GD, si Arlene, si Jason, si Bea, Marites. Uh, Marianne, she says, mga online, dami mga online sellers. So, you guys can already do e-commerce store management kasi familiar na kayo, di ba? Uh, sa Lazada, di ba? Uploading products, descriptions, yung titles, yung mga keywords, yung mga ganun. So, you're already familiar with it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, which of these things do you think that you can do as a freelancer? Sino ba? Uh, uh, which of these? L let me know in the comment section. Now, right now, you can do. Um, looking, 
present for MTIEs disabled. For ano mong disabled? F I'm not sure what you're talking about, uh, Melanie. Uh, Mary Ann, right now I have a tablet and phone. Can I use at first because my laptop needs to be fixed? Um, it's recommended talaga that you have a laptop. Um, so I do, I would recommend that you get it fixed as soon as possible. Kasi mahirap yung tablet. A lot of times it's a lot slower and you can't do a lot of the work. Uh, may replay naman to. May replay. After this, it'll automatically save the replay. Um, is there a video on how can I price my work? Jenna, we talk about that in the VA bootcamp, how you can price your work. Uh, it's it's one of the lessons that we teach. Um, Cherry, uh, will, will, uh, you can chat with us. You can chat with us um, on the Facebook page. We don't provide contact numbers. And <laughs> mga inquiries and, and hear up if we if we talk to everybody. But you can chat um, with our team. Just send us a chat message here on the VA Bootcamp Facebook page. Um Jer Jerjilin, date entry, uh oh, book oh Minerva, bookkeeper and executive secretary for two years. Uh, you can start with you can start with bookkeeping. You you know how to do it. Um, executive secretary, you can do a lot of the admin work. You can do virtual assistant work. Data entry transcription, office application, internet research, uh, RAC, SEO, and web design. Nice. Hesitant regarding my price because I'm a newbie. You can always start, um, if you know SEO and web design, you can start at like $10 per hour and just increase your rates from there. Right? Once you get more experience, since sabi mo newbie, you're a newbie, you can just get more experience and start increasing your rate from there. Social media, website, email and calendar, data entry and transcription. Ayun, di ba? So, a lot of these, a lot of the um, GD on how to be an advertiser, we teach, we have a Facebook ads course din sa VA Bootcamp. If you check out our list of courses, we have that as one of our courses. So, um, you might want to enroll in that. Data entry. Ayun, di ba? A, a lot of you guys can already do these things. Um, si Jersey, may gig ako sa Fiverr photo manipulation. Karamihan sa client ko, seller sa Amazon. Kadalasan, pinaparamove nila yung background. And it's $5 removing background. $5 tapos, it'll take you, what, 20-30 uh, seconds. Diba? It's, 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 for you, it's easy money. <laughs> or baka 10 minutes naman minsan, diba? if it's harder. Uh, Jana, I do graphic design, but I want to learn more about video editing. O, oh, trend siya ngayon. Jeanette, you can do online bookkeeping. A lot of small business owners need bookkeepers. Um, Rack, it depends on the project. Right? There are sh short projects and long projects, so it really depends. Um, all right, I'm moving on to our next question. What do I need? To oh, well, well, going back here, sorry. So as you can see here, there are a lot of skills, a lot of skills that you already know, and a lot of work that you can do naman, even right now as freelancers. And if you don't know, if you, if you can say na, I don't. I can't do any of this. Diko kaya gawin any of these things. Well, you can learn. Right? There are a lot of free tutorials, and we have our online course in, in the VA bootcamp. All right. And next question: What do I need to start working from home? Ano bang mga requirements dito? Well, what you need, you need an internet. You need internet. You need a connection. Um, an internet connection. Uh, you need a computer. Uh, so you mga cell phone, you mga tablet. I mean, you can kind of do work pero very very little um, and you third you need skills to offer clients so once you have these three you can definitely start working from home about as long as you can do the skills you you have a computer and you have access to the internet all right next question where can I apply from for jobs a lot of people were asking this earlier and here is the answer to your question where can you apply um there are mga online freelance job websites there are hundreds of hundreds of online freelance job websites where you can get work such as upwork.com, onlinejobs.ph, guru.com, freelancer.com and a lot more but these are parang yung mga popular ones so uh, you can, to create an account on these websites it's free lang naman <clears throat> it's free lang naman and uh, wait. it's free to create a job uh, to create a profile on these websites and you can start applying for jobs like I just saw jerseys um, comment here, Fiverr. He's on Fiverr.com. F-I-V-E-R-R. -R. $25 per three picks. Kada last na order sa akin. Within five minutes, tapos na. So $25, all you work is five minutes. Very easy. Haya hay na, dependent lang sa kung ipapa revise. Easy money talaga. Oh, diba? if, you're, if you know how to do Photoshop, you can remove background. Something you can do as well. Diba? Um, and that's another 
parang website. I didn't put it here, pero that's another website, Fiverr.com. And there are also other websites that you can get um, jobs aside from mga online freelance mga, mga job portals, um, such as link, mga social media websites like LinkedIn and Facebook groups. I don't recommend this if bago pa lang kayo sa world of freelancing. This is a little bit more advanced. Yung Fiverr din actually, it's, it's slightly more advanced, pero like Jersey was able to do it. And a lot of people are able to do it as well. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the top four um, online freelance job websites are what I'd recommend for mga newbies especially. All right, um, Jeanette, I hope you can guide and help me find online job. Well, that's what we're here for. And you can, uh, if you want, well, more guidance, we have the VA Bootcamp. We have mga coaches who can help you out there if you want to check that out. All right, um, next question, how can I get paid? How do people get paid, diba? So um, one common example here is uh, you create a PayPal account. So a PayPal a PayPal is a third party that works between uh, the banks in, let's say, the U.S. and the banks in the Philippines. And the client or the company will send your payment for your services to a PayPal account. And what you will do is you log in and you will withdraw your money from PayPal and they will deposit the money into your local account. So it's a very smooth process um, for you to get paid. A PayPal charges a certain fee but it's very minimal lang naman. Usually it's, well, it, it can go up to like 3% mga fees, uh, which is a fee, pero it, it enables you to get paid easily online. Um, may times po bang need mag video call regarding sa beginning instructions? Depende sa job. Uh, a lot of, well, you need to be prepared na some clients will want to talk to you, um, especially if they're going to do interviews. They will. For Jersey's work, actually, no. <laughs> For Fiverr, no. It's just very simple. All right. Um, next question. Why is it best to start as a virtual assistant? So we recommend for a lot of the people who ask that you start as a virtual assistant. Now, your first job online is doing virtual assistant work. And so what is the reason for that? First of all, virtual assistants are what we call generalists. Okay, so anong ibig sabihin ng generalist? Um, a generalist is somebody who does a lot of mga different na easy work. It's not that difficult to learn to become a virtual assistant compared to doing even yung, yung Photoshop. That requires some learning, that requires a lot of skill. Um, but if we're talking about video editing, all the more, search engine optimization, yung becoming an advertiser, somebody mentioned earlier, doing like Facebook ads and Google ads, that requires a higher level of skill. But for virtual assistants, not so much because and you're a generalist, so you know a little bit about everything. Parang jack of all trades. That's what a generalist is. Plus, you get a chance to try out different kinds of work before choosing to specialize in one. So if you're not sure where you'd like to focus, if you're saying, I'm so confused, I don't know where to start, maybe I'll do writing, maybe I'll do design, maybe I'll do websites, maybe I'll do social media, a, gen a virtual assistant is a great place to start because parang Parang sa ice cream, you get mga free taste ng iba't ibang flavor before you choose to purchase yung favorite flavor mo, di ba? Um, so that's what you get as a virtual assistant. You get parang iba't ibang experience. Um, third, you can earn a good amount of money still. A lot of people earn 20,000 to 30,000 pesos a month as an entry-level freelancer doing virtual assistant work. Pero what if you want to hit yung 100,000 peso mark, that's when you specialize into other areas. Pero to start off, as a newbie, as you know, parang somebody who's who still doesn't have experience, twenty to thirty thousand pesos a month, that's not bad, diba. So these are the main reasons why we tell people we should start as a virtual assistant. Um going over the experience here. Which platform? Oh mga ano. Uh may PayPal na po ako kaya lang wala pang link na bank account. Gamitin PayPal ko para sa salary. Um, meaning yung bank account mo, link sa salary account mo. Pero if it's your personal account, wala namang problema. Gcash, pwede naman yung PayPal to Gcash din. Uh, may iba't ibang platform. Ayan. Uh, may mga seminar or, or training center on-site po kayo. Wala kaming um, in-person na training. It's all online. Sometimes we do events, pero right now malabo mag-seminar and training right now in person, Agata. So, 
um, especially right now if, if you're looking you have to rely on online uh, mga shoes mga perfumes pag interview po ba pwede na ang phone um, yes pwede cell phone uh, to answer Jack's question uh, a lot they uh, most clients they do just voice but some voice and video and if you have a cell phone with a with a camera which is most cell phones now pwede naman uh, I'm sabi ni may mga app na pwedeng gawing webcam ang phone oh, pwede, oh yeah that's a good point din Mia uh, pwedeng webcam yung phone per hour po ba yung VA um, yes may per hour depende sa to answer PS question uh, depende sa work uh, most of it is per hour meaning you can work anytime yung iba may shifts pero yung iba may certain shift para lang mag meeting like you one hour a day you have a meeting or you have a scheduled meeting from 9 to 10 p.m. and then the rest of the time ikaw na bahala so um, that's a very common setup with your clients is there a link where I can use virtually my experience in early childhood education 0 to 6 years old um, well you you have to learn well Mary you should check out the websites I gave earlier um, and you might need to learn more about the world of freelancing which was what we're talking about right now right? for newbie freelancing was in ex international experience in accounting bookkeeping how much dapat ilagay ng rate um, it depends on you I would say mga $8 per hour is a good start and you can increase from there to answer Shane's question Grace ilang MVPS I'd say at least five right? and most of us have at least five right now how do you prepare for the interview we have a blog post about that I think Cindy uh, and we talk about it in the VA bootcamp did is there non-voice VA work most of the VA work is non-voice like I'd say 90% of VA work doesn't require any voice okay um, next question do you need to enroll in a course to become a freelancer do you need to enroll in a course so in the VA bootcamp diba, we have mga online courses na medibenta namin but do you need it well the answer is no in the bootcamp uh, <clears throat> on our website in the bootcamp we have mga free videos we have free courses we have free blog posts we have a free Facebook group where you can learn to become a freelancer and there are so many free free sources for you to learn but what a course will do and why we recommend taking a course is that it will make your journey journey smoother um, mas mapabilis yung journey nyo, yung journey to success nyo when it comes to online freelancing and you'll be able to get guidance you'll be able to get coaching with a with an online course and we have our own course which is VA bootcamp um, you can go to uh, vabootcamp.com or vabootcamp.ph to check out our our online course uh, let me just check if see vabootcamp.com is up and well vabootcamp.ph yeah vabootcamp.com works then uh, because we have that domain also um, and we recommend that you enroll there we have a lot of options for you um, we have installments starting at 1999 if you want um, but we recommend the v uh, we're 1,490 sorry 1,490 pesos uh, but we do recommend the accelerated course which is the one in the middle that's what we recommend usually for mga newbies um, document analyst and dami yung pwedeng gawin Agatha proofreading transcription proofreading that that's one thing that you can do online even okay um, so you may be asking who's there to help you who's there to help you uh, when it comes to the learning more about this online freelancing world diba? we talked about enrolling in a course but even if you don't enroll in the course we have our Facebook grouping freelancers in the Philippines we have my admins we have moderators and we have over 176,000 members in our free Facebook group freelancers in the Philippines and a lot of these people are existing freelancers if you ask questions they'll answer your questions um, once again it's a very friendly and very positive environment how do you maximize the benefits of being a member of our group being what we call a flipper well we have a read this first post where mga, mga beginner information will be there to guide you on your journey to online freelancing we have a PDF guide we have mga uh, as you can see here how where do I start mga freelance websites and a lot of other information here um, we have mga post topics and threads if you want to talk about writing if you want to talk about co-working spaces we have threads for that um, you can use a search function over there to search for a certain topic like PayPal or for example SSS and things like that or taxes 
a lot of people ask questions about that. Um, and you can also watch our shows. We Every Monday morning, we have Monday Motivation. That's Monday at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, flip Chat and Chill. It's Monday at 6 o'clock. We have like, one example of Flip Chat and Chill. We have a question like hourly or fixed rate, which is the better way to get paid. Um, we have our Just Success freelance interviews, which are every Wednesday. An example of this is um, with Eden Rivera, for example. She talked about how she was a former call center worker and she turned Instagram into a money-making hobby. Um, we also recommend that you attend our webinars. If you go to the events tab on the Facebook group, you'll see um, our upcoming webinars. Like this one is one of the upcoming webinars. Oh, well, it's an ongoing webinar. It's, it's right here right now on the button. And then you can click on the going button to ensure um, that you get reminders and to mark that you are going to attend. Uh, we have upcoming webinars. So today we have our how to start a work from home career. That's our webinar for today. Next week, we have English confidence for freelancers. The week after that, we have the three pillars to a happier life. And then we have how to be tech savvy. So I'll be conducting those webinars. I have a very busy month this August. And that's on every 8 p.m. Um, every 8 p.m. for the next Saturdays of August. So if you want to attend these, uh, well, for those that are here right now, which of these do you want to attend? Let me know. Which ones, which ones are you excited about? Um, let me know in the comment section. Cheryl, anytime pwede mag-enroll sa bootcamp? Yes, you can enroll anytime, uh, but you know you should start sooner if you want to learn sooner, di ba? <laughs> uh, okay, uh, how many hours a day po usually pag VA? Depende. Some people work four hours a day, some people work eight, some people work 12 hours a day. Depends sa client, depends sa schedule nyo din. Uh, please, thank you for answering. Um, Shane, we uh, I, that's not covered in the webinar today, yung social media marketing. Uh, we do have a course on that. We do have a free course on that then. And we might talk about it in a future webinar. But right now, we don't have the time to answer that. Sorry. Uh, Cindy, August 8th. That's right now. Good to hear. Uh, 22 and 9. Tech Savvy. 15 and 22 and 22. All, uh, all of the above. How to be Tech Savvy. 22 and 29. All dates. <laughs> excited sa lahat ng mga upcoming webinars. All right, that's good to hear. You guys are excited. Uh, and let me know if, if there are other webinars. Well, we ha we ask it in the group. Um, and Mahar, uh, Mahar and Marites are in charge of making sure that the webinars are scheduled. So they'll be in charge of, of you know gathering which webinars you guys want and scheduling them in our upcoming um, Saturdays. All right. Uh, we also recommend you read our blogs. We have a lot of great blog posts um, like these, by an online freelancer. We have a computer and laptop buying guide, 30 step guide to create a winning Upwork profile, how to register and pay taxes at BAR. If you go to bootcamp.ph slash blog, you can read our blog posts over there. Um, how can you give back? So once you start you know, getting experience as a freelancer, you can give back to the community. You can, well, we have a weekly contest where we give away uh, mga prizes. We have, uh, for example, in this over here, we had mga noise canceling headset. Um, and we have a weekly contest where, where we stopped this for a while, but now that we're on, well, Lazada and Shopee are delivering again, uh, we might start this again soon. Uh, you can post any questions or freelancing concerns you have as well in the group. And you can also answer the other questions. For example, here are some Here's some of the freelancers in the flip group who answered questions. And, and you know, when you post a question, a lot of times you will get a number of answers from our you know, very friendly and positive uh, Facebook group. Uh, there are replays after every webinar. There will be a replay. And Agatha, yes, same time, 8 p.m. on all these Saturdays. Um, another way you can contribute and give back is posting your success stories. Um, when you post your success stories, um, what you you know, some of you guys have shared your success stories here, and it would be great if you share them in our Facebook group then, because it inspires a lot of people. You you don't know now with your success story, you can inspire somebody um, and guide them, you know, and help them to be a successful freelancer. We see that a lot, um, now, you know, because of somebody's success story. That's what really inspired them and motivated them, and they become successful now. So, post your success stories then. 
Um, if there are any inappropriate posts or comments, then you can report them. Report those who break our rules, who do self-promotion, who who start trolling, start mga, mga away online. You can report them um, so that we can take the appropriate action. We, now we also have a adopt a newbie program, and this is a well, this is a new program that we recently started, wherein mga mga experienced freelancers what they do is they adopt newbies and help them and guide them. This is a way of giving back to the community. Mga experienced freelancers just helping out uh, mga newbies. Uh, we have an ongoing batch right now. Um, well, Mahar's taking charge of that. I don't know all the details, but we have an ongoing batch right now um, of, of volunteers who are helping mga those that want to learn online freelancing world. So if you didn't join the program yet, um, keep your eyes posted when there will be another opening for this. Of course, it's not always open so there will be openings depending on the availability of those who volunteer to help out mga newbies did. Oh yeah, here uh, there are 13 flippers qualified for the program. Um, the volunteer mentors that help them land their first job, become certified in QuickBooks, um, for example, learn websites and learn graphic design and become virtual assistants. And the mentors are, are experienced freelancers. Some of them are VA bootcamp graduates as well, graduates of our program. Right. Um, you can check out the free VA course, by the way, if you want to start, if, if parang you're interested in this, if this is your first time learning about this and you want to learn more, check out our free VA course. You can go, you can search it in the Facebook group or you can go to the website freevacourse.com. You can check that out there. Um, and we have a lot of courses as well. Um, we have for e-commerce, we have for web design, social media, email marketing, and so on. Check them out. Um, in our Facebook group. Just search for free courses and you'll find them there. You can check out our success our success stories, our just success, our just success interviews. Uh, they're on the website, they're on the Facebook page. We have by now we have how many? Like parang almost well more than a hundred. We have more than a hundred success stories already. Check them out. Um, if you want to get inspired, hear how these people got started. Uh, we have more than 100 successful students and success stories over on our um, web page and our Facebook page as well. Uh, here are some testimonials from our graduates um, from the VA bootcamp. I'll just read them for you here. So Brian, Luis, and Rosa, he said, Sobra sobra ni tulong na VA bootcamp sa akin. It's more than just about learning the technical aspects of being a VA. It's also about practical applications in the real freelance world. From having a $5 per hour rate when I started to experiencing having clients at $17 per hour, the VA bootcamp is my best investment. So, is he He started the $5 per hour. He graduated from the VA bootcamp, started earning, let's say, mga 250 pesos every hour. In one day, if you work eight hours, that's 2,000 pesos. Um, 20 days, that's 40,000. So he started out um, earning that much, mga 40,000 pesos a month, or let's say mga 30,000. And then he got more experience, and he in, in, in a few months, he was able to earn $17 per hour. That is um, 850 pesos per hour, okay? So in one, if you work four hours a day, that's 3,400, 3, that's 3,400. If you work 20 days, that's 64,000. Anyway, as you can see, you can really earn a lot online. And he started with the VA Bootcamp. Um, AJ Madrid said the VA Bootcamp is worth buying. For newbies, this course will help you save much time because of all the steps you, you need to know about freelancing is being discussed here. Also, this course was my stepping stone to achieving my 100,000 peso per month earnings. So she started with the VA Bootcamp and it guided her to earn a hundred thousand pesos a month of course she had future learnings then um, and she got more experience but she was able to earn and she's still able to earn a hundred thousand pesos a month um, it started out with the VA boot camp um, so those are just some testimonials for our course if you want to check it out on VA bootcamp dot ph um, and we have yeah highly recommended some people were asking highly recommend that you you start off with the accelerated program the one in the middle that's what we recommend all right um, once again, would you like your gift? We asked you this earlier. 
a lot of you guys said you would like the free gift and we're giving away these these two free gifts we have the five must-have tools to start working from home this is a free pdf guide and the three most common mistakes newbies make on cover letters mga cover letters or application letters or proposals so what you have to do to claim your free gifts is first of all take a screen uh, share this webinar and then take a screenshot of you sharing it on your wall second is leave us a review okay um, and then third fill out the form on vabootcamp.ph slash welcome gifts once you fill out the form the instructions will also be there and um, you'll be able to you know, upload the upload the screenshots and then once you submit that I will give you your certificates oh, well not your certificates sorry your free PDFs by the 17th okay so you have you have one week to um, watch this if you're watching the replay then you can still submit this and then the deadline for this will be August 16 because on August 17 I will be sending out the free gifts for you guys and yes a lot of people want the free gifts um, is there a guarantee for us to have a job after we enroll in the BA bootcamp no there is no guarantee actually if any and there are no guarantees at all in any course you enroll in just like if you go to college there's no guarantee that you'll get a job if somebody is guaranteeing you something most likely parang fishy yung mga ganun, yung mga scam yung mga ganun. there are no guarantees because you have to do the work then you have to learn you have to learn the skills you have to finish the quizzes you have to apply for jobs and if you don't do all of that you won't get hired okay, so there's no guarantee we do have a money back guarantee by the way Marie if that's what you're looking for um, if you check out your page where uh, the courses are listed there's a money back guarantee um, with the details over there so may money back guarantee naman pero walang guarantee there are no guarantees talaga because it really depends on you that you know we can guide you we can help you but you have to put in the work also all right um, a special announcement um, some special announcement uh, if you missed it we have individual courses as well if you want to enroll in, in in our English course our blogging course our quick our bookkeeping our email marketing course our writing course our SEO we have a Facebook ads and social media course websites an e-commerce course um, and we have our next level freelancing formerly known as the road to 100k um, about increasing your freelancing earnings and starting a freelance agency that's at 2990 each just three courses there's a promo 7990 all you have to do is go to vabootcamp.ph slash um, slash what was it slash shop sorry um, slash shop to enroll in those individual courses um, and we have them well you can check them out on the website as well um, by the way if you enroll in if you enroll in our VA bootcamp complete course which is 19,990 you will get access to all of these courses all of these are included it's com kaya nga complete diba? and you get a free month well you get a monthly coaching call with me as well which is exclusive to VA bootcamp complete students uh, so yes going back to claim your free gifts I'll, I'll just leave the instructions here so that you can do that uh, one last time to go over the questions um, and comments so if you have any questions let me know in the comment section I'll take a couple of minutes to answer any remaining questions that you have Minerva I have application at transcribe me uh, mind-blowing the audience the audios were so bad looks like professional transcriptionist uh, transcribing I don't have experience with transcribing I know there are a lot of websites out there you can you can look for um, like on jobs on Upwork or Fiverr or, or post post an opening on Fiverr for that because not, most of them aren't that bad for example like we have we have some of our interns do transcriptions for our interviews and okay naman yung audio hindi naman Bangit, diba? Right now, diba? You, you get the audio is pretty good. Enroll po ako dyan. Good to hear. Uh, recommend the accelerated course, yes. How much would it cost for the paid courses? Uh, I just showed that to you. <laughs> um, this is possible for BA Bootcamp graduates. There are internships available, though limited to a certain number. Uh, can link you up with other groups as well offering internships, yes. Thank you so much. Excited for the gifts. Thank you. You're welcome. I need some tips, but at least 10 tips to start. And dami kong binigay na tips ngayon, Rock. Sorry. 
hindi na covered yan. Ang dami akong nabigay na information. Uh, can you assist me? Check out our blog post, Minerva. We we have a blog post. Ayan, binigay ni Mahar. Thank you, Mahar, for giving that. Anong po module yung accelerated? Baka nag-loading po. Hindi ko at nakita. Uh, if you go to our enroll in our VA Bootcamp paid program, you'll see the accelerated program in the middle. Someone can give the link to that so that you can check it out. vabootcamp.ph slash enroll for you to check it. Nakanroll po ako sa Accelerate. Then I stop. Can I still continue? Yes. Um, email support at vabootcamp.ph, Cherry, or send a message on the Facebook page para we can check your account um, and see para baka may kulang ka na payments and you can continue with the payments. Hindi uh, ba matapos ang complete course bago na bago makapagwarangkuan coaching? No. Hin- it's not a need. It's not a requirement. In fact, as long as you enroll, you can join the one-on-one coaching. What do... Uh, not one-on-one. That's group coaching. Huh? Is it say one-on-one here? Group coaching po ito. Hindi siya one-on-one, uh, Marcelina. It's a group coaching. Um, newbie here. What do I need to enroll po? I mean, mga requirements. Meron po ba? Uh, wala namang requirements. What we recommend is you have a computer and you have internet. Um, and then here, you can get the skills that you need to get online jobs. So, wala namang requirements. Except yourself, di ba? Um, Cherry nag email din. Okay, good to hear. Uh, you already emailed. Uh, they might not check it until Monday. Uh, May day off naman yung support team. Thank you po. Sir. Looking forward to the next webinar. Good to hear. Uh, payment lang po. Dito po lang. Dito pa lang sa webinar na to. Dami ng natutunan ang newbie na tulad ko. Hoping soon makapag-post din ako ng success ko sa flip sa flipper page as a VA. Great to hear. Uh, thank you. Good to hear you learned a lot din. And yeah, I look forward to your success story, Jabel. Aside from setting up an Upwork, what are the other steps? Uh, check out our blog post, Rack. Uh, we have yung mga step-by-step guides there. Or you can enroll in the bootcamp then. That, that's one option for you. Uh, already message post page. Okay, good to hear. Wait mo, yeah, wait mo lang your reply. It's the weekend. Uh, baka Monday pa. Ano pa dapat going for group coaching? Yung group coaching is for VA bootcamp complete. Um, I'll just move to that slide. Here, uh, VA bootcamp complete. We finished our August one last week. We'll have our September one in a f- well in September. <laughs> um, so many dami ko natutunan. Thank you, sir. Till next webinar. All right, all right. Good to hear. So yes, glad to hear you guys um, learned a lot. Uh, it's it's good to hear you guys learned a lot in this webinar. Once again, um, claim your free gifts. Fill out that form. You have until the 16th to fill out that form uh, before I send out the the batch. And after that, uh, I won't be sending it out anymore. Um, thank you so much for attending, guys. Uh, yeah, I hope you learned a lot and you have a great rest of the weekend. Oh, continue to stay safe. You know, be safe. Um, and I hope your family stays safe as well. All right. Bye-bye.